We hustle daily. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Big Play Ray, coming to y'all with another video. We're not at the auction today. We about to tackle this uh Chevy Malibu now. We're gonna get into that in a minute. But if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to join the hustle nation. Make sure you go to W H D Academy. Matter of fact, we're about to talk about WHD Academy real quick. As a matter of fact. So, uh, matter of fact, yeah, that's what we about to do. Real quick, y'all. Now, let me tell y'all something about WHD Academy. Now, I was talking to some dealers yesterday, right? You know, um, and I just realized, like, a lot of people know what they're doing, but a lot of people don't know what they're doing, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because it was just stuff that he was talking about, and I was just like, man, you need WHDAcademy.com, like, for real, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just some of the stuff he was buying. You know, I tell the people in WHD Academy not to buy. You know what I'm saying? And I show you what to look for. And, you know, so I think, you know, WHD Academy is real good for dealers who, you know, especially if you just trying to get in the game and, you know, or like it's just so much information that I'm, you know, showing y'all. And I think y'all, a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all is slipping on whdacademy.com, like for real, you know, cause like, like seriously, it was just some of the stuff that I just wanted to be like, bro, you need to purchase whdacademy.com, man. Cause you know, like, man, I tell, tell people in WHD Academy, my students not to do that. You know what I'm saying? And what to look for. You feel me? So y'all slipping on whdacademy.com, man. Y'all is. But if you want to copy your merch, go to wehustledaily.com. I know I ain't got my merch on. Like I said, we about to tackle this Malibu. Let me tell y'all what's going on with the Malibu. Hold on. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram too. Wehustledaily.co. Make sure y'all do that. <clears throat> All right, the Malibu. I never addressed the Malibu. Now, I, I could have been sold to this Malibu, y'all. Like, y'all know how many people done hit me up about the Malibu? Unfortunately, though, the Malibu do not have emissions so you know um i've been i don't have to turn a whole lot of people down now i'm gonna show y'all we're gonna tackle everything in this video i'm gonna show y'all why the malibu don't have emissions on you know what's going on with it i actually got another scanner that i never use the one y'all see me with all the time you know um i'm gonna try to use this other one i don't know if it's the scanner or what i don't it's i don't think it's the scanner i just think something going on with this car but I'm going to just use another scanner just to see. So we about to tackle the Malibu, man. And I know I ain't got my merch on right now because I don't want to get none of my merch dirty. Because we about to uh, see if we can fix this Malibu, man. Or attempt to fix the Malibu, man. So, like I say, if you haven't already, make sure you join the Hustle Nation. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell, man. Let's get right into it. All right. First crank on the Malibu. Y'all remember the Malibu, right? bad boy got 214 on it so i got another scanner here go ahead and get it open for y'all gotta attend to this car today man because this one right here is just getting on my nerves man now this is an actron here had this scanner for a long time but it just you know there go the model number and everything right there i'll probably put it in a link in the description below if you want to get this one as well this is the actron here so we're about to hook this bad boy up and i'm about to show y'all what's going on on the malibu and we're going to take a drive and see if we can get this malibu to pass emissions so now it's a 2000 so let's see what we can do all right so Let's see what we got here, man. I ain't used this bad boy in so long, y'all. Um, oops. Use this bad boy in a minute, y'all. Can y'all see? Let's see what's going on with this mug, man. This mug getting on my nerves, man. Oh. Okay. See, it says 
see it says N-A. Y'all see it like, miss, you know, misfire fuel and comp component, it's not supposed to say N-A. It's supposed to say, where is it? Damn, I keep messing up, y'all. It's supposed to say incomplete. You see? And if you don't know what we're talking about right now, whdacademy.com. I keep telling y'all. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out why is it doing that? Like, why are these NA, you know? So I'm, I'm still trying to figure this out, man. So let's go for a ride. All right, Hustle Nation. Um, well, Scanner just did something else. All right. So we had just got ready for emissions. Um, but the um, I had to take the battery off. I took the battery off, let it sit for like 10 seconds, put the battery back on, it was ready for emissions. Unfortunately, it's a day that uh, all the emissions places are closed. It's only one open. So we're going to that one right now and we're gonna take the battery off right there in front of the emission place and see if it'll get ready again. But um, yeah, this car just got some weird stuff going on with it, y'all. I'm not gonna lie to y'all as far as the monitors go. But you can see like we riding, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the car right now, we ride, baby. But let's go ahead and pull up to this emission split place and um, yeah. So we can be slow drivers, man. I tell you about y'all. I keep telling y'all, man. It's gonna get ridiculous, man. But all right, let's pull up. We're pulling up right now. We got one open, look like. So let's go ahead and take this battery off, man. We're gonna take the battery off, right? And then we're gonna uh, put this on real quick. And while I sit here and wait for this battery to uh, marinate, I just wanted to say this too, because I seen a comment and somebody was like, yo, why you don't clean your uh, your interiors better and stuff like that? And I'm gonna just tell y'all honestly, because I don't feel it's gonna increase my profit. I don't, you know, I, I just I just don't. I don't feel it's gonna increase my profit. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? These are used cars, you know what I mean? And honestly, I just started putting tire shine on cars and uh, resurfacing the headlights. And that's only because one of my partners said something, you know, he was doing it, you know, and it didn't seem that hard to do. So I was like, man, at least I can do that. But for a long time, y'all, five years, I wasn't doing none of that. I would wash the car and I would sell the car. You know what I'm saying? Like this been going on for a minute, y'all. So, you know, I don't feel it's going to increase my profit. I just don't. I don't. Y'all can let me know y'all opinions, but all that, you know, wipe down interior and, you know, I, I, I vacuum, you know, but all that, you know, wipe down all this, use armor all, all on the dash and all that. I'm sorry. I, I, I just don't, I just don't think that it's going to increase my profit. I don't know if it's the, the, the state I'm in, you know, Georgia, but man, these customers don't care nothing about that. I know some customers do, but man, you know, you buy a used car, you can clean the car yourself. You're going to clean the car. You should want to clean the car yourself when you first get it anyway. I don't care if it's from a private party or auction. You should want to clean your own car. You should. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Shout out to the whole Hustle Nation. I'm sitting here waiting for this battery to um, marinate, man. Hopefully, this thing is uh, good to go. Because, like I say, I was just ready for admissions. But, man, ain't nothing open today. So, we found one. So, let's see what we got. All right, man. This car getting on my nerves, y'all. This car getting on my nerves. Now, it had just got ready for me when I took the battery off. Everything good to go now. We want to do this little incomplete thing or whatever. I don't know, man. So, what I'm about to do is I'm about to go let this car sit somewhere and wait till somebody in a non emissions county hit me up and I'm about to let it sit with the battery off. I'm sorry, is this a... oh man, they got the tent right here by the light. Come on, y'all. Damn, that's horrible, man. Got the homeless person with the tent right by the light. Like, they got the tent, like, yeah, man. Be grateful, y'all. Be grateful for what y'all got, for real. Like, it was just a tent with somebody in it, with they bags in it, at the light. Like, this is a 
busy intersection type. Like, so man, y'all be grateful for what y'all got and stay humble for real. Cause man, that just you know you see them downtown and stuff, but that's just like right right there at the light. Like they sleep at the light. Like so, man. Hey, I'm telling y'all, it's, it's serious out here. But yeah, man. Like I say, I'm about to take this car back home. This this car done pissed me off. You know what I'm saying? But you know, after just seeing that, you know. It ain't that bad, you know what I'm saying? So I'm about to just go sit this at the house. I'm about to take the battery off. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just let it sit. You know what I'm saying? Until somebody wanna come out in a non-emission state, or I'm gonna let it sit for a couple of days, and then I'm gonna come back to it and see if we can get emissions, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, all emissions places will be over probably by then. So, uh, be open rather. Um, I don't know if I just said open or over. Or over. I don't know what the hell I just said. But all right, man, I'll catch y'all when I'm selling this boy or I can actually get emissions for this guy. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to go ahead and admit, this was a bad buy. Like, with it not being able to pass emissions, it's a bad buy, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all know I paid 770 for it. If you don't know, I'm telling you, I paid 70, 770 for it. Make sure y'all check that video out of when I bought this car. But I'll take $800 for this car right now. I would. 100% and let it go even though it's riding good y'all see me riding I was just on the highway and everything you know because this emissions place was kind of far and uh, I'm not sure if I told y'all but emissions is smog if you live in a, a state where you got to take smog emissions same thing you know it's a state required test that you got to pass in order for your uh, car to be able to you know get your tag and your license plate so this is one of them states, but man, this car done pissed me off, man. So I'm about to just take it home, y'all. I told y'all what I'm about to do, but I'm just, I just wanted to let y'all know that. Like, i take $800 for this car. I just want my money back at this point. Ready to put my money in something else and keep it moving. So now I'm about to just let it sit. You see what I'm saying? Like, it was a bad buy. It was. Even though I had it for a week, it was bad to me. All right, Hustle Nation, a day later, and we're about to see if we can sell this um, this Malibu. So uh, it set all day yesterday from when y'all seen me messing with the admission. So it's the next day, and we're about to see if we can sell it. The girl doesn't have to take admissions where she's from. So let's hope that we can get rid of this Malibu because I'm sick of having this car. I done had it for too long, man. I done turned too many people down because it will not pass emissions. All right, Hustle Nation. I don't know if y'all can see it, but the Malibu is gone. Let's talk about the price real quick. All right, Hustle Nation. Just sold the Malibu, man. We only sold the Malibu for 900 bucks. We sold the Malibu for 900 bucks, so that leaves us with a total profit of $130. That car right there was just not the best buy, and you know, like I, should, like I tell y'all, you're not gonna make the most money off every flip. You know, you're gonna have some good flips and you're gonna have some bad flips. At least I ain't lose no money though. You know, I'm glad I didn't lose no money, but that was a bad, bad flip. That was not a good flip at all. You know what I mean? I mean, any profit is good profit. I'm not gonna say it was a bad flip because I made some profit, but it was a bad buy, you know what I'm saying? It was a bad buy. It, it, it took a minute to get rid of that car. I had to turn a lot of people down for that car right there, but I am glad it's gone. It's finally gone, Hustle Nation. Shout out to the whole Hustle Nation. It's gonna be a wrap for today's video. If you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to join the Hustle Nation. Now, if you haven't already, I'm talking to you. If you haven't already joined the Hustle Nation, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and make sure you hit that notification bell for your boy. If you haven't already, make sure you cop your merch. WeHustleDaily.com, y'all. I'm going to keep telling y'all in every single video. And if you want to learn how to check out cars, make sure you go to WHDAcademy.com. I'm showing y'all everything I know. A lot of y'all be saying that y'all be buying um, messed up cars from IAA and Copart. And that's because y'all don't know how to pick cars at IAA and Copart. In my academy, I'm showing y'all exactly how to pick cars from IAA and Copart. And just from any auction, you know what I mean? And like I said, this go for the public and dealers too. This is just not a dealer class, you know what I'm saying? If you want to go and buy a car from a private party, I'm going to show you how to pick a good car so you won't get jugged and finessed. Shout out to all the Hustle Nation. It's your boy, Ray. Big Play Ray. I'm gone. Peace.